Hey everybody! Welcome to a reaction video. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but six weeks ago, around maybe the second week of June, I had eye surgery and for a detached retina. Now, it's a long recovery, and it still is because I'm still healing, but now I'm kind of curious about what my surgeon did. So I thought that we would watch, I get this is a detached retina uh, surgery simulator. And basically we are going to be watching what, what you do, like what they do for a detached retina, like what they do in surgery. So I'm kind of curious to see what they do. And this is just going to be my reaction to what they did. So. Hello, and welcome to Surgery Squad's Retinal Detachment Surgery. I'm Dr. Jeff. Go follow them in the comments, guys. This procedure today. I'm not sponsoring the them or anything. The retina is located in the back of your eye. When we see, light yes. enters the eye. It is focused onto the retina, which acts like the film in a camera feeding information to the optic nerve, allowing you to see. As you get older, the vitriol fluid, which is the gel in your eye, can contract, pulling the retina away from the eye. Ugh. This contraction can cause a small tear in the retina, allowing the fluid to seep behind uh, the retina, detaching it from uh, the back of the eye. This can cause loss of vision. A retinal detachment is a very serious ailment that well, must be it. dealt with as soon as possible after discovery. Symptoms that you may experience with a detached retina include seeing floaters or frequent flashes of light shadows appearing in your peripheral or side vision i didn't see floaters but i did wake up with my eye pounding and then so i just thought maybe i woke up kind of wrong as in like i slept on it wrong so i went to work and then later i saw uh, flashes of light. So I guess the second, second, second signs, I guess. Um, but I didn't see shadows in my peripheral vision because that's what I normally see anyway in my right eye. I see just basically sh shadows and just basically movement. I don't see like fully vision in it. So a gray curtain moving across your field of vision or a sudden decrease in your vision. Again, if you experience any of these symptoms, contact your eye doctor immediately. Today, we went. <laughs> we're going to perform a retinal reattachment called a pneumatic retinopesky. The pneumatic surgery takes what? about an hour and can be done on an outpatient basis. Our patient today is a 30-year-old man who recently noticed flashes in his vision. Okay. His ophthalmologist dilated the eye and detected a retinal tear and a detachment. He recommended immediate surgery to limit additional loss of vision. Mine wasn't yeah. immediate. Like, it was an emergency. First, we need to administer so, a relaxing sedative so it was intravenously. pretty quick. This will make our patient drowsy, but not put him to sleep. Can you place the needle for me? Yeah, actually, that is... That is, uh, true. You're in the twilight zone, pretty much. You're not, like, asleep asleep. Like, you're not deep asleep. Like Just I did for my nose surgery. surgery. Additional drops of anesthetic are applied. They just really Please dilated my eyes. A speculum to hold I the don't eye open wide remember during the procedure. Place the speculum for I'm me, doing please. all this. That doesn't mean that they didn't. I just don't know. Now that the patient is anesthetized, we insert a syringe into the eye. What? Huh? Now we inject an air bubble into uh -uh. the vitriol fluid. <laughs> As the bubble expands, it pushes the retina back against the wall of the eye. With the retina back in place, we can now seal the tear using a freezing probe. The probe is touched to the outside of the eye where the tear is. This freezes that seems the tear back so in place. Quick, but it may take several touches that? depending on the size of the tear. The tear is now repaired. The needle insertion will heal quickly. Can you remove the speculum? Our patient needs someone to drive him home after the surgery. 
and he shouldn't drive until he regains sight in the eye. We'll prescribe medicated eye drops to use several times each day for a few weeks after surgery. That is surgery, true. <laughs> and he'll need to wear a protective eye shield while sleeping or napping for about a week after surgery. A special pair of post-op sunglasses all... Oh my gosh. <laughs> they put a, some kind of like a shot thing in my eye? I just... Oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Just the fact, just thinking about it, just, I don't, I don't know. Like, like, <laughs> it kind of hurts a little bit, <laughs> in a sense. Uh, and they did a laser right after. Because I had stitches in my eye, so... I know he opened up my eye, but he, he, like, he did that because he didn't, he didn't do a gas bubble. He did an oil, a oil bubble, which apparently is tougher and it's more, it takes longer to recover, um, according to my mom's eye doctor. So, uh, and yes, I did wear an eye patch going home, and I was supposed to wear an eye patch while I was sleeping, you know, while I was sleeping. Um, I didn't just because it, it made it harder, but it was also hard because I had to be on my, like, flat on my face for two weeks. Um, so, just... I'm not a I'm not a belly sleeper, so I can't sleep very well on my stomach. So I did not have a good sleep at all. Um, I did have to take two eye dro different eye drops, um, two times I think a day. Um, and now I'm just down to two eye drops once a day. So. Yeah, and I had to wear my glasses all the time. Um, obviously, I'm not now because I don't need to. But, yeah. Um. Also need to be warned to protect his eye from sunlight and other bright light as his eye recovers. However, the biggest part of the recovery is head positioning. The bubble floats to the yeah. top of the eye. So the head must be positioned to keep the bubble against the detached portion of the eye. This means the patient must keep his head facing down or the position indicated by his surgeon for at least a week. Like I said, Sight returns slowly to the down. eye over several months <laughs> as the bubble must dissolve and be replaced by vitriol fluid. However, once the bubble dissolves, vision is usually restored to close to the previous level. You did a great job today, surgeon. While you're here, try one of our other surgeries here at surgerysquad.com. <sighs> well... If you want me to do try it, I can and try the other surgeries if you want me to. But I was just using this as an informational for me because I was curious to see what my surgeon did to me. Because um, they did. I was in the twilight zone when he did that surgery. Uh, basically, I could hear their voices. Like, I could hear them talking. And I knew they were doing something. But I felt like my eye, both of my eyes were closed. It was a really weird feeling. And so my eye is still a little bit red, but it's so much better than it was. Um, and if you don't believe that I had it, um, I'll, here's a picture right now. Um, I'm showing it on the screen at, the, at, the, at, the, at this moment. <laughs> And basically, this is me after, basically right after surgery, uh, on, in the car, going home. So I really, my face was all bandaged up. And yeah, um, it was not a fun time. And it's, it still isn't because I can't be on my back yet. Um, I can be on my side, but I can't be on my back. And I can, st I can work out again, just gradually. 
So, and I can't lift heavy things yet. So that's tough at work. <laughs> um, so I'm, I have to either have a customer uh, help me with that or have a bagger help me with that. So basically it is, I'm still recovering, um, but at least I'm getting through it. So I still can't believe what they did and just the equipment that they're able to do all that, but still like, <laughs> I'm just, I can't fathom all that. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, gave up and learned something from this because I know personally I did. Um, and if you want to know more about, you know, informational surgeries, and, um, make sure to check out their YouTube channel. Um, I'm not sponsored by them and by any means necessary, so don't <laughs> think I am. Um, but I do like their channel because it, it is very in, um, informational. And they actually have a game that you can play, which if you would like, we can we can do it, I guess. <laughs> I see some YouTubers actually do did play it. Um, I just don't know how I would do with it because it's actual it's not like it's a cartoon surgery but it's you know accurate um but yeah so uh thank you guys so much for watching bye guys